Hey everybody, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. And you're watching In Depth on Now You Know. This survey just came out, Jesse, and uh, guess what it said? Um, that unicorns are now the most popular animal? Uh, there might be a survey like that, but the one I'm talking about is the new AAA survey that came out. Uh, they did one last year. They did this one this year. And this year, it says that 20% of Americans, or 50 million Americans, will likely go electric for their next vehicle purchase. Wow. 20% of the people that they ask. Yeah. Now, wh why I think this is huge, not only is that 20% number huge, mm -hmm. but the increase from last year. So last year, they did the same survey, and 15% of Americans last year said they would go electric for their next vehicle purchase. Wow. So... A lot of people might be thinking, well, what are, you, what are you making a big stink about, Zach? I mean, it went from 15 to 20. That's only a 5% increase. First of all, that's just in one year. Right. Secondly, we're talking about most Americans who have never driven an EV. Right. Never sat in one. Probably many of them don't even know if they've seen one. Right. And 20% of them think their next purchase will be one. This is probably the most interesting piece of data that I've heard in the last year or so i mean yeah what <laughs> right and this wasn't done by like some ev group that just went out and asked certain people this right. is AAA, well-respected group that mm -hmm. has no real stake in evs to speak of right what i thought was interesting is that we're starting to see decreases in what uh people are worried about so for instance 63 percent said that they um there's not enough places to charge as a detractor mm -hmm. this is down nine percent from last year wow people are already beginning i guess to feel more comfortable with charging places that means people are walking around seeing electric cars plugged in mm -hmm. talking to friends realizing that that's not as bad as they thought right so this year 58 percent of people said that they are worried about uh range and that's one of their reasons why they wouldn't buy an ev mm -hmm. Last year, that number was 15% higher. So, I mean, a drop of 15% of the people who are now not worried about range, probably because batteries are getting bigger. So, first of all, I mean, a 20%, and, and obviously these aren't people that, you know, have a reservation and are going to buy a car, an electric car, um, you know, in the next year. But these are 20% of people who are interested in buying an EV. Well, that this will be their next car. Right. Of cars... You either have a car that you put gas in or you have a car that you don't put gas in. Gotcha. And, you know, maybe there's hydrogen fuel cell in, you know, California, maybe. But for the most part, you're either going to be buying a gas car or an electric car. And for the most part, it's just been 100% gas car for... Ever. Forever. Imagine if those 20% of people go out, buy an, an electric car. That means they're not going to gas stations. They're not going to service stations hardly as much as they used to. There's a complete change in, in the way that the world will work. If you own a gas station now, that means a 20% reduction in customers. And I don't think that a lot of gas stations can weather that kind oh, of no. thing. Oh, no. I mean, the margins are paper thin for gasoline. And the other thing about gasoline is when you sell gasoline, your gas is the same as the gas station across the street. You mm -hmm. can't differentiate your product. You can't say, well, my gas is Joe's gas, which is better than Bob's gas. It, no one cares. Right. And, so, and they've tried that kind of thing. Like, exactly. we put special things in our gas. and Nobody cares. Basically, they care nobody about cares. the price. So right. if your gas station um, competition across the street lowers their gas price by a penny, you've got to lower it by a penny. Right. Um, and that's just the way of the world for gas. And that's, we're already seeing, if we look at a, at a chart right here, we're already seeing that from 1996 to 2012, there was a reduction in the number of gas stations in this country of 34,000 stations. It went from 190,000 stations in 1996 down to 156,000 stations in 2012. And I want to point this out. Let's say that you're either thinking of opening a gas station or you already own a chain of gas stations and you're thinking of what to do with one of your non-performing gas stations. Are you going to you know, keep thinking about adding more gas station stalls? I don't think so, because if you look at these numbers, you're going to start to say to yourself, gosh, how do I make money? I mean, most of these gas stations only make money now by having a convenience store, right. so drawing people in. You're going to have to start offering something that people want, which is going to be charging stations. I'm going to have to disagree with you there. I don't think that the average electric car owner ever wants to go to a gas station again. I know f for me, I don't ever want to visit a gas station. I don't oh, care if there's a charger there. I will go across the street to, you know, whatever smell? restaurant. Yeah, I mean, the smell, it's disgusting. I don't want to be at a gas station. And, and, and it's because... But what if it's convenient? It's right off the highway and there's a convenience store there, like, and you can pull in and, and get your charge. Uh, okay, I'll concede you there. But 
it's not my first choice. But my argument is, this is going to happen faster than you think. A lot of you people watching are thinking that it's going to take decades to switch from gas cars to EVs. I'm predicting here that new car sales by 2025 will be 90% EV. Now, that's not to say that all the ICE cars will be gone, because obviously they last for a decade or more. So it is going to take a while to get through all that inventory. Mm -hmm. But let's look at this. If 20% of people say their next car is going to be an EV, guess what cars they're going to be turning in? ICE cars. Right. They're going to be turning in used ICE cars. The average owner is going to be turning in a car that's perfectly usable on the used market. So there's going to be a flood of ICE cars on the used market. Now, if you're looking to buy a car, mm -hmm. you're going to strongly look at the used ICE market at that point. Right. Which means you're not going to buy a new ICE car. I see what you're saying. Because everyone has just been switching over to EVs. Right. So you're going to have a nice, cheap supply of used ICE cars that'll be in good shape. And it's going to be a little bubble. It's going to be a bubble of ICE cars. Then soon to follow, there's going to be a bubble. There's going to be a ton of used EVs. Right. Because then that's going to be sort of the predominant force, the sales force. So guess what? All you ICE car manufacturers, no one's going to be buying new ICE cars. They're either going to be buying new EVs, used EVs, or used ICE cars. Right. And so this is still good for the gas stations of the world, the service stations, but not for long. And I think there'll be a little bubble for car mechanics, old school car mechanics, for a little while longer. Because mm -hmm. when that bubble of ICE cars goes out there, they'll need work and they'll be jobs. And that's when people are going to say, See, you were wrong, Zach. You can stay an ICE car mechanic as long as you want. No, you can't. Right. It'll if be this last little hurrah of, right. of car mechanics. And so, please, if you're young and you're going out into a new field and you think that it's going to be car mechanics, great. Go to the Tesla school and learn how to fix EVs. Right. But don't learn how to fix ICE cars because that's not a long-term investment that is worthy of your time. And this gets to the point about dealers, which is that dealers do not want to sell an electric car because no. they make no money 65 percent of their money is made off the service of the vehicle right and there's and really nothing to service on an electric car auto manufacturers for decades and decades have been screwing you they've been building a car that they know will break and they know that you're going to get to they probably spend just so much money on consultants to find out where that point is mm -hmm. where you'll be just satisfied enough with the quality and then you'll pay to have it fixed right and pay to have it fixed and pay to have it fixed henry ford when they were building the model t he would have engineers you know if if they kept making cars and none of them were breaking he would say we're doing something wrong because they need to break they need to break in order to continue to make money once you've once you've sold them tesla is again at the forefront yes. they're building the electric car okay i'm sorry but the model 3 is the electric car it can supercharge it's got the range, it's got the power, it's got the space, it's beautiful. It's all, it checks every box. Yes. Okay? It's only the fourth car they've ever made. Exactly. And they're only going to be making more Model 3s, and mm -hmm. they're only going to be making more electric cars. If you're starting now, you're already behind. Right. And and again, we've seen this, we've been talking about this, but... And, and none of the car manufacturers are starting now. They're pretending now. Right. They're they're starting to put on little, you know, outfits of like, we're going to have an electric car. Right. And they're but showing it's... concepts right. at, at, you know, and, and, and a lot and, of it is just super conservative to be like, right. oh, I don't think that people will ever want to buy an electric car. Well, we'll make a really good looking one, a concept, and we'll show it off at the Geneva Auto Show. And, and maybe people will like it. Well, you know, the other thing is the way that the ICE manufacturers have been selling EVs for years, they talk about that it's going to take a long time to charge. Do you know how long it takes me to charge my car? It takes 12 seconds. Mm -hmm. I go over to my charger, that takes six seconds, and I walk back to my car, and that takes six seconds. That's how long it takes me to charge my car. Right, and I have a Leaf. It's the same thing. It, it takes me that long. I, have, I plug into a wall outlet, okay? I charge my car like you charge your laptop. We went out to Montreal this weekend, and... We hopped in the Model 3. We didn't even have to stop at a supercharger from Boston to Montreal. Insane. You can drive there in one battery charge. We didn't have to stop if we didn't want to. Right. It's just, it's all changing before our eyes. It's right. amazing. You're literally, you're sitting in the middle of it right now. It is all changing yep. right in front of our eyes. It's, it's literally the production number every week of the Model 3. As, as that grows, and as I see more Model 3s on the road, I saw two today. Yep. I saw a red one, I saw a gray one, and then I saw one on our driveway. The, the EV revolution is coming, my friends. It's happening right it's now. It's happening. It's happening right now. Yeah. So excited you're along for the ride, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you go over to Patreon and check out our Patreon bonus stories. You can um, join Patreon for just a buck a month, and we have so many stories. You're getting them for like pennies a month. It's just 
unbelievable. Yeah. So it helps us because we need to get the Tesla semi truck, Jesse. Yep. We're on the list for it. Now we just have to come up with a way to pay for it. And then we're going to drive it around to all of you and give you rides and show it off and show you this amazing truck. Right. Because with a semi truck, you know, we could drive Sparky everywhere that we wanted to. But with a semi truck, we can bring Sparky. We can bring the Model 3. We can bring a Roadster. We could bring the Unity car. We could bring my Leaf if we wanted to. Yep. We would be a EV car show. Yeah. This will be in the back of the semi truck. We will just pull up. It'll be a big glass front. We'll wave to all you guys. Have right. you come on the new people, show you know people watching who you know maybe you live in a town where there are no evs there's no ev chargers you've never seen an ev in your life you just are like on youtube just like i like this stuff but i can't do it because i live in the middle of wyoming we can just pop in drop off every electric car that is cool and then just drive them around your town and it's going to be the talk of the town yeah we can do that that's going to be amazing yes and but we really do need your support so Patreon, uh, we try and come up with as many perks as possible, as many different things, and they stack. So, like, if you're like, yeah. you know, oh, I, I want to get a, a t shirt, that means that you're also getting the Patreon bonus story. It means that you're also getting a signed poster from Zach and Jesse. Yep. All, the, all the polls, everything. the posts, the, the live streams, all right. that. And you're not only that, there's a value that I don't think that you realize yet, which is that you're entering a community of people who are freaking awesome. They really are. So I really encourage you to just go check it out. Head over to patreon.com, search now you know. Just see if anything interests you. We, you know, a buck a month really makes a huge difference. Um, and then we get to talk to you even more with our Patreon bonus story and you know polls and posts and all sorts of fun stuff. So head over there and you know, we'll see you next week for in depth and, and now you know and everything like that. We do this every week. I'm sick right now. <laughs> yeah, he's still doing it. <laughs> Thanks everybody. Thanks. All right. Now you know. Now you know.